Welcome to this presentation on Solution Architecture. Using Enterprise Architect and the Sparks Modeling Platform, you will learn about some of the tools and facilities available to Solution Architects and Managers to create and manage rigorous and expressive architectures. You develop and review the models collaboratively, and you can share them with customers and a range of other disciplines from executives, strategists, managers, implementation teams, and more. In this presentation we will cover the following topics Visualize architectures with diagrams and dashboards Model information cloud architectures and processes Understand stakeholders and their requirements Model architecture artifacts and principles Communicate and integrate with model exchange Visualize solution architectures with diagrams and dashboards in this topic, you will learn how to view solution architectures in clear and compelling diagrams and dashboards. By the end of the topic, you will have seen benefits, including Plan the future with roadmaps. Engage business stakeholders with compelling views. Create tailored stakeholder dashboards and diagrams. Style diagrams with images and dynamic legends. And more. Plan the future with dynamic roadmaps and use them to guide your organization to positive and predictable business and technology outcomes. Generate roadmaps from predefined patterns, or add them as an overlay to any existing diagram of capabilities, applications, work packages, and more. You can see the applications and other elements on a timeline and segment their lifetime into discrete phases, showing you precisely for example, when an application will change from mainstream production into retirement. Visualize enterprise and desktop applications and gain powerful and revealing insights into their strategic and tactical importance, complexity, and cost. These expressive diagrams will appeal to business and technical stakeholders who need to manage application portfolios and ensure they provide a return on investment, and demonstrate tangible value to the business. Visualize capabilities graphically in diagrams, and print them as wall charts using nesting to show their hierarchy. Use dynamic legends to color them based on metadata and system and user-defined properties. Create relationships between capabilities and other modeling elements such as motivation concepts including drivers and goals, and business and application elements such as functions, processes, and application components. Make capabilities smart by showing information about the capabilities in two dimensions using dynamic legends that automatically color the diagram. Bring your capabilities to life using built-in or user-defined properties such as priority, business criticality, and technology enablement. Watch as the tool dynamically updates diagrams in response to changes in element properties. Define your own legends and colors, set alternate legend display names, and reuse legends by dragging them from the browser onto any diagram canvas. Conduct an application portfolio assessment to understand which applications the organization should invest in or modernize and which should be tolerated or divested. Incorporate the assessment as part of the solution architecture description to indicate which applications you will use to deliver the solution. Apply colors and diagram layout to make the diagrams appealing to non-technical stakeholders and view the diagrams in a web browser in WebEA or Prolaborate. Drill down from these assessment diagrams to the application portfolio exploring system and user-defined metadata such as business criticality, vendor, business owner, or view them in the properties window. Create appeal for non-technical stakeholders by adding images to diagrams to create expressive narratives and compelling representations that will engage business and technical stakeholders, who are typically unfamiliar with the modeling languages. Use a built-in library of handy images or create your own at a team, project, organization, or industry level. Incorporate the diagrams with their images in web pages, or reports and publications automatically generated from the model, and view them in WebEA and Prolaborate. Define and display solution views, including requirement, business, architectural context, information and data, application and services, security and privacy, and technology and physical views. Use packages as containers for elements and diagrams that describe the views. Your solution architectures require a multifaceted approach that ensures that each aspect of the architecture is well understood and well documented. 
You can use views to present stakeholders with information that exemplifies and simplifies the facet of architecture that concerns them. Create a catalog of business or technology capabilities and use these to drive architecture and solution planning. Capabilities are fundamental to understanding an enterprise and the way it operates. Define the capabilities directly in the browser or a diagram, or import a predefined structure from the model wizard patterns, or alternatively import them from an existing spreadsheet. Create an overall chart showing nesting or add diagrams at any level of the hierarchy. Model cloud architectures, information and processes. In this topic, you will learn how to model important information and processes, including conceptual, logical, and physical data models and cloud architectures. By the end of the topic, you will have seen benefits, including Model entities conceptually. Create logical and physical models adding metadata. Model Amazon, Azure, and Google Cloud architectures. Model location-based information with geographies. And more. Model entities conceptually, leaving the details to be resolved in logical and physical models. Use the information engineering standard or associations to show element cardinalities or multiplicities. Change the diagram appearance to whiteboard, custom, or hand-drawn mode creating a feeling that the diagram is still in flux, inviting stakeholder input. You can color elements and connectors to indicate semantics, groupings or use dynamic legends to color the diagram objects and connectors based on system or user-defined properties. Create or view logical data models using several connector standards, including the information engineering and unified modeling language notations. Communicate with business and technical stakeholders using the diagrams to gain feedback on their information requirements. Generate physical data models in a range of database management systems directly from these diagrams using the powerful and configurable transformation facility. Import or design physical data models and create expressive diagrams to visualize various database objects, including tables, views, primary and foreign keys, functions, stored procedures, and more. Connect to a live database and import the physical data model from the most commonly used relational database management systems. Use diagram tools such as layout, filters, legends, and hide compartments and detail to make the diagram more appealing to a range of stakeholders, including business analysts and architects, informaticians, business analysts, and developers. Connect to implemented databases and access enterprise architects' rich support for data modeling with a purpose-built tool. Make connections to multiple databases, including development, test, and production. Visualize database objects, including tables, views, functions, stored procedures, sequences, and more. Configure columns, data types, primary unique and foreign keys, and view the objects in automatically created and laid out diagrams. Compare the current data model with a live database and optionally synchronize any differences in either direction using differential DDL. You can use the SQL Scratchpad to run ad hoc SQL queries against a live database. Get a jump start with the complete set of the gang of four software patterns. Benefit by using these tried and tested patterns to structure architectures and designs by injecting them into your models and visualizing concepts in diagrams adding quality and rigor to your models. Select any of the 23 patterns and use them individually or in combination, extending them to meet your design requirements where necessary. Create expressive and powerful diagrams of Amazon Web Service architectures using the AWS icons representing the full suite of resources and services. Model EC2, RDS, S3 buckets, machine learning, and Lambda resources, and more. Connect the cloud architectures with models of on-premise infrastructure assets and show how application or business-level services are distributed across both types of architectures. Create expressive diagrams of your organization's Azure architectures and model a full range of resources, including web apps, load balancers, virtual machines, key vaults, SQL databases, traffic managers, and more. Model these Microsoft Cloud infrastructures alongside on-premise and other vendor cloud architectures allowing model stakeholders to get a cross-platform view of the architecture landscape. 
Create expressive diagrams of your organization's Google architectures and model a full range of resources, including Compute Engine, Cloud SQL, Speech-to-Text, Kubernetes Engine, Data Catalog, and more. These expressive diagrams use all the standard Google icons available from the toolbox and browser conveniently grouped into categories such as Compute, Data Analytics, and AI and Machine Learning. Model these Google Cloud infrastructures alongside on-premise and other vendor cloud architectures allowing model stakeholders to get a cross-platform view of the architecture landscape. Model location and geographic features using the geography markup language and visualize the features in expressive diagrams using conventional symbols. Add images to represent features such as airports, aircraft, wind turbines, buildings, and more, to make the diagrams more compelling and appealing to business and informatics stakeholders. Connect these geographic models to conventional data sets to integrate these two aspects of solution architectures. Generate industry standard application schemas directly from the models, or create highly polished corporate documentation in various formats, including PDF and DOCX. Follow the flow of your business processes using the business process model and notation, from the events that initiate the process to the ways that it can complete. Create as is, or current state processes, and to be, or future state processes. Include processes, activities, and tasks, and organize them in the browser into a process hierarchy, making it easier for teams to manage. Use pools and lanes to indicate who performs or is responsible for the activity. You can run simple simulations or use the BP Sim simulation engine to visualize the processes in action, and perform analysis, including what if and Monte Carlo analysis. Understand stakeholders and their requirements. In this topic, you will learn how to know your stakeholders and model their relationships, characteristics, concerns, and requirements. By the end of the topic, you will have seen benefits, including Know your stakeholders' characteristics and concerns. Understand potential stakeholder conflicts. Prepare for stakeholder workshops and focus groups. Catalog their requirements and concerns. And more. Know who's who in your stakeholder community, both inside, and outside your organization. Visualize the stakeholders in organizational units to help understand their influence and needs. Use stakeholder names qualified by roles to ensure you know the person to speak to about project or enterprise concerns. Careful management of stakeholders will result in positive business and project outcomes and reduce the amount of time spent in meetings and workshops. Achieve success by understanding your stakeholders and delighting them with value-based products and services. Document and visualize stakeholder characteristics, attributes, and concerns, and use these to provide a context for private interviews, workshops, and meetings, and to assist in resolving stakeholder conflicts. Record stakeholders' concerns and interests easily during workshops and meetings using a mind map diagram. Project the diagrams on a meeting room wall to ensure stakeholders can see you have recorded their concerns accurately. After the session, Analyze the diagram and create stakeholder requirements traced back to the topic and subtopics in the mind map. Relate elements such as components and interfaces back to these requirements to ensure that a solution architecture solves a real problem, or harnesses a well-defined opportunity articulated by the stakeholders. Understand your project and enterprise stakeholders by creating expressive maps of the significant stakeholders and their relations. When you clearly define the relationships between stakeholders, you can more easily resolve stakeholder conflicts and ensure better overall outcomes for the entire group of stakeholders. Any project staff can use the maps, reusing them across multiple initiatives, replace the elements with icons to represent the type of stakeholder, or use avatars or photos for each stakeholder. Create and view requirements and other analysis elements as documents, and gain productivity by working in this familiar business tool. You can immediately toggle from this view to spreadsheet, list, diagram, or Gantt chart views. Switch any package or diagram to the specification view and work as you would in your favorite word processor. Set display options including level numbering, note visibility, and create new and delete existing requirements directly from the specification manager. Create and view requirements in a spreadsheet-like view, 
with properties such as status and priority listed in columns. If you are accustomed to working with spreadsheets, this will be a welcomed view that allows you to sort and rearrange columns, and edit both system and user-defined properties from drop-down lists. Enjoy the productivity that comes from working in this familiar business paradigm, and switch to other views such as list, diagram and Gantt views when needed. Discover requirements sourced from documents stored inside or outside the repository. Bridge the gap between these text-based sources of project information, and the requirements derived from them. As your project evolves and implementation work begins, you can trace any part of the model back to the source of the requirements, by using tools such as the matrix and traceability window. Define navigation diagrams with buttons that launch solution architecture diagrams, making it easy for any business or technical stakeholder to navigate through the model. Include navigation icons to describe the type of diagram or information that the button will launch. Navigate easily using the buttons in the browser views, including Prolaborate and WebEA on smartphones, tablets, and notebooks. Target other navigation diagrams such as projects or disciplines to allow drill down through the model. Engage non-technical stakeholders with elegant and business-friendly diagrams. Add vector or raster-based images to make the diagrams appealing and use the custom style to completely tailor the look of the diagram. For example, adjust transparencies, set border and fill colors, change label positions, add backgrounds, and more to create compelling representations of your ideas and socialize these with non-technical stakeholders. Model architecture artifacts and principles In this topic you will learn to create industry best practice architecture models of strategic, business, application, and technology artifacts and principles. By the end of the topic, you will have seen benefits, including Create application catalogs. Assign user-defined application metadata. Define application interfaces and payloads. Model principles, capabilities, reference models. And more. Create and view your enterprise application portfolio in lists, spreadsheets, document views, diagrams, windows, and the browser. Include the applications in your solution architectures, knowing that they reflect the current enterprise state. Group the applications based on their type, vendor, or business criticality and include them in any architecture views, including security, architecture context, and application services views. Visualize the entire application portfolio or just parts of it in Prolaborate, making it available to a broader stakeholder audience, including a facility to update metadata. Visualize application connections, and the payloads exchanged between the components to understand the effort involved in changing or replacing an existing application or integrating with it. Then drill down from these diagrams to information models that describe the payload or data exchanged between the applications, and the protocols used for the exchange. Apply diagram filters to hide parts of the diagram so you can focus on particular application interfaces and apply automatic legends to color the applications based on metadata such as vendor, business criticality, or interface type. Create or import an organization metamodel to capture and record enterprise or project-specific metadata. Add these properties to a range of elements, including capabilities, application components, interfaces and other elements. Create user-defined properties such as business criticality, vendor, technical and business owner, and properties that describe whether it is deployed on-premise, in your cloud, or a vendor's cloud. Use enumerations, color, date, element and package selectors, and a range of other definitions to restrict what a user can enter for the property. Visualize this metadata on powerful and interactive dashboards in Prolaborate. Set element properties and organization-specific metadata using a full suite of user interface controls, including drop-down lists, spin controls, color and date pickers, element selectors, and much more. These controls ensure the data is set to allowable values and increases the fidelity of your models. View element metadata in property sheets or diagrams and web browser views in WebEA and Prolaborate. Additionally, architects can use the properties to drive expressive visualizations in interactive charts and graphs in both Enterprise Architect and Prolaborate. 
Define application interfaces and payloads using components, ports, and interfaces. Connect the interfaces with information flows and specify the payloads allowing drill down to the underlying information models. Include these diagrams in solution architectures to visualize an application's connection to other applications in the enterprise, including which component provides services, and a description of the interface, including protocols such as REST interfaces and methods. Map enterprise and desktop applications to business capabilities to visualize how a business service is realized. Enrich your solution architectures by demonstrating how the applications support an increment of an existing or a completely new capability. Add dynamic legends to color the elements in the diagram to show categories of applications such as desktop versus cloud. Create and view business and technical reference models at any layer of the Archimate language, from strategy, information, and application down to the technology and physical layers. Foster reuse across all architectures and initiatives by making these reference models available to all modelers, and creating usage patterns that describe how to include them in a particular context. Add legends to dynamically color the diagrams based on system or user-defined properties. Never lose track of element connectivity with the traceability window, and view a graph of model connections from a context or reference element. Set options to restrict which relationships to display, and locate related elements in the browser or diagrams, and instantly view their properties. Use this view in conjunction with other windows, like matrices, and model views to gain a comprehensive understanding of how requirements relate to both business and technology elements, ensuring there is no scope creep or unintended gaps in your design. Define your principles and encourage enterprise and solution architects to adhere to them. Create business, information, application, technology, security principles, and more. You can define properties such as descriptions, rationale, implications, and more to ensure they are well understood and used appropriately. Show the principles applicability to a particular solution or context or offer dispensations when it does not comply. Ensure your architectures are principled and that project and implementation teams not only know the applicable principles but can see how an architect has applied them in the context of their project artifacts. Use relationship notes to describe how a principle applies to a given part of the model, at a package or element level, and show these in diagrams that unambiguously illustrate the level of compliance. Communicate and integrate with model exchange. In this topic, you will learn how to collaborate with colleagues and customers, create corporate publications, and exchange content with other tools like Excel and SharePoint. By the end of the topic, you will have seen benefits, including View models in real-time through a web browser. Publish high-quality corporate documents. Integrate with more than 30 other tools. Exchange data with spreadsheets and documents. And more. Put architecture in your pocket, and instantly view real-time models in a browser no matter where you are. View the models on a notebook, tablet, or smartphone, and create new requirements, application components, and more, adding notes and other details as required. Collaborate with colleagues, consultants, and customers by entering into discussions, chat, reviews, and viewing each other's model additions and changes, in real-time. Generate high-quality corporate engineering documents directly from the model. Use a range of document generation techniques with flexible system or user-defined templates. Completely customize the documents, to comply with corporate or customer standards including styles and logos. Generate these for publication in a range of formats such as DOCX and PDF. Collaborate with customers, colleagues, and consultants and build systems in record time using the collaboration and team features. Enterprise Architect is built from the ground up as a collaboration platform for sharing ideas and working and modeling together. Collaborate with your team and stakeholders no matter where they are located, and chat, discuss, comment, review, and share strategies, architectures, solutions, and visualizations, all in real time. Ensure you are on track with reviews of essential or critical parts of your model. Invite colleagues or others, like customers and consultants, to review model content such as architecture descriptions, 
principles, catalogs, and diagrams conduct reviews inside the desktop tool or in a web browser using the powerful collaboration features of the ProCloud server. Connect Enterprise Architect to ServiceNow using the ProCloud Server Integration Facility and visualize ServiceNow items inside Enterprise Architect. Include the items in diagrams and other visualizations to ensure that you understand how they relate to broader enterprise or project concerns. Use ServiceNow filters to specify the items to synchronize and configure the mapping between types of items stored in ServiceNow and the elements in Enterprise Architect. Exchange requirements, capabilities, building blocks, application components, risks, and other elements with spreadsheets using the CSV Exchange utility. Save time and effort by importing existing definitions from spreadsheets, including in-built properties such as type, status, and priority, or user-defined properties such as business owner or criticality. Create and reuse your specifications for both import and export of modeling information. Check for high-quality architectures and see how your models stack up, by applying a checklist to architectures, packages, or individual elements. Extend the checklist to other elements such as capabilities, business functions, application components, and more, to ensure rigor and standardization. Use a checklist pattern of predefined quality characteristics, or define your organization, project, or team qualities for each element type. In this presentation we have covered the following topics. Visualize architectures with diagrams and dashboards. Model information cloud architectures and processes. Understand stakeholders and their requirements. Model architecture artifacts and principles. Communicate and integrate with model exchange. <laughs>